We're taking some old patterns and turning them into beautiful wall art right now. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from ElizabethMadeThis.com helping you sew something creative. If that is up your alley, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So I'm continuing talking about things that you can be making for all the people that sew in your life or friends or family or whoever it is that you happen to be making gifts for if you feel like it. I feel like there's always this huge pressure for us as sewists to make something handmade for the people in your life and you start doing that and it gets kind of stressful and why do we do that to ourselves so my goal here is to give you a lot of quick wins simple simple things that you can make and not all of them have to be sewing which ta-da today is a no sew project as you can see so I kept thinking about all of the you know one of the one of the most popular things on my channel in the comments is my background <laughs> It's so hilarious that you know that you record videos and you edit them and all that and then people talk about your background. Nevertheless, I did I did my background too. <laughs> so that my background favorite with, sewing tools and how the they are gonna hearts on it. I really really love that and it's because I really think that vintage pattern illustration is beautiful and there's no reason why those those pretty patterns that we have in our stash should be sitting in a drawer. Like why not put them on the wall and just make some nice sewing room art for yourself. So I'm going to walk you through my process and how I take a pattern and turn it into wall art. I've done this a lot of places in my sewing room and it's one of my very favorite easy, easy, cheap DIYs to do. So let me jump in the tutorial and I'll see you on the other side. So I have two vintage patterns here. I think they're both really, really beautiful and just definitely too nice to put into a drawer. So instead of just shoving them into a drawer and forgetting about them, I am going to just take some frames and I'm going to frame them. I think these would be a great little gift for anybody who sews, but also for your own sewing room. So first, the first thing that I'm going to do is just grab some, some random fabrics in my, from my stash. These are just kind of remnants from other projects and I'm just going to kind of audition them and see what I, see what I think. So I pulled, I pulled this stretch twill for, for this one because I thought, I think that it looks really nice against the blue, but then I also have this cotton lawn. So while I think that's nice, it's a little bit, I think that the colors really, really stand out a little bit more with that contrast. So I think I'm going to go that way for this particular one. So let's set those aside. See, I've got this simplicity one. Do I think I like that? Eh, it's okay. It's okay. This is kind of, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> and then the, the colors kind of bring out some of the colors in there, but I don't think I like the shiny of this particular satin. But I do like, however, the green of the silk taffeta. So I think I'm going to go with this. It kind of fits the vibe of the of the general era. of. I think this, this one's from the 60s at some point. So I think I'm going to go with this one for that one. Okay, so now I have some, some just basic frames here. I could just pop them in there and then glue that in there, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and paint these frames. So the first thing I'm going to do is just grab some cardboard and I am just going to paint them. So I'm just using regular plain old acrylic. I like acrylic for, for picture frames. It ends up being a really nice, easy thing. Plus it's really inexpensive and you can find it in just about any color. It probably will take a couple of coats and that is okay. So I'm just gonna give it one good coat and then I'm just gonna kinda add coats as I need to. And I'm gonna let them dry for about an hour in between. Okay, so this is the, the back side of our thing. I've, I've taken my fabric and I've given it a good iron. And to get it in place, I'm just gonna just add some glue stick to it and just press it into place. And that's gonna make a, a nice solid background for our, for our picture. And when it is all dry, you can go ahead and just cut away all the extra. And after this, we're ready to, to mount our pattern. <laughs> At this point, we're ready to add our our pattern to the background before we pop it into the picture frame. 
So in this case, I'm going to take it out of the package because I got this at a at a flea market. So it was just it was hanging out there, and I was like, oh, this is really a beautiful pattern. I want to protect this because this is pretty fragile. So I am going to flip this over, and I'm going to get some. Uh, painter's tape. I actually have two kinds of tape here. I've got painter's tape and then I have this poster tape. And poster tape is a double-sided tape. It's really good for mounting things, but because I might want to use this in the future for an actual pattern, I'm going to protect it first with a piece of painter's tape. So with the painter's tape, I can take off of it without without damaging the, the actual paper itself. And then I'm going to take a little piece of poster tape and then put that right over the top of that. I'm going to take off the second side of the poster tape. Okay, and now I'm just going to kind of center this properly. In this case, I'm going to actually take out, take out the pattern and I'm going to save this in a separate envelope when I want to sew this up because it's making it kind of bulky. So things to think about there. Okay, at this point, it should be easy to slide in. Okay. So that is my my finish my finished picture frame. So the only thing I need to do is just add a little picture finger up up at the top, and it's probably best to do this on a hard surface. But anyway, we're just gonna hammer that guy into place, and then you can go ahead and hang it on the wall. And that's all it is to just making some nice some nice sewing pattern art for your sewing room. So I hope this tutorial will give you a different perspective on the sewing patterns that might be sitting in and hanging around in your drawer. Like maybe you want to go to a thrift store and go find a really cool vintage pattern. I know I found I found this this lovely at an antique store and it was two dollars. So of course I picked it up and I'm gonna file away the old pattern for to make it because it's really pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty. Go try this out and check out the other easy, easy sewing projects and no sew projects that are in this playlist. And I will see you in another video. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that vintage pattern art tutorial. <laughs> Hopefully you will try some making some wall art of your own. There's lots of, there's lots of other stuff here happening on Elizabeth Mavis, so go check it out and I will see you in another video. Bye.